Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Shibuba. Just thought I'd show, throw a quick little guide together. Um, pro I was prompted by Matt to throw a quick guide together on the various uh, rocks and whatnot on woods and how to get up and down them uh, without jumping, because a lot of people look at them and they think, you know, that you've got to jump. Uh, so I thought I'd throw together a quick little uh, guide for those. There's three in particular that I thought are really important for um, having better flow on the map and keeping your squad and yourself alive uh, on the map and give you a, a nice vantage point of various things and give you some nice rotations around um, so that people can't hold you in an angle. So hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy, please try to like and subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. It'll help uh, boost that algorithm. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Main thing, right? You're on top of Sniper Mountain. There's loot up here, of course. Really cares about that right now. Get on top of this rock, you can get a free shot on the sniper scav from here. Because he'll either be over there, or along this ridge, you can see him through here. And then if he aggroes sometimes, he'll run down to there. But, anyways, as for the drop down, you can, there's two ways down here. Right, you can either go all the way over there, go up the mountain, climb it this way. That's, that's one way. Other way, of course. Let's go right here. You hold S as soon as you start dipping down the hill. Grab these gold spawns here like a real winner. Now, there's two more ways you can go about this. If there's someone down here, <clears throat> or you think there's someone down here, you can actually go right here into where Cliff Descent used to be on Woods before they expanded the map. You can drop down to the bottom and get a respectable left swing on somebody. Uh, and then... This way I can show the ways to get up on top of the sniper rock. There probably is a jump or a way to run up here. I just jump right into that corner. You kind of glide all the way up to the top here. And this is the part I want to emphasize. When you run up this part, so many people, when you watch them do it, you'll watch them get here and they'll jump and they'll jump again and they'll jump again and they'll jump again. If you do it that way and I watch you do it in a raid and you're playing with me, I'm going to make fun of you for it. Every, t every single time I'll make fun of you for it. The cool kid way is to go up and you just hug the right wall. You can just run all the way up. There's You can technically sprint up this last jump here, but it's finicky. It requires extra time. So to save time, I just jump the last part. And then you can just run over that last rock. Go down here. Check your bunker loot. Grab the Bitcoin that's definitely going to be down there for 130k. Check the ammo spawns. And then you can run up Sniper Mountain here. And you can run up this part as well. You can run all the way up to the top, no jumping required. Check sniper scav. It's not a good idea to go up here, but you can. A nice jump I also like to do is right here, just where this little lip is where the laser's pointing. If you jump just before that, you can land on this little plateau without taking damage to get yourself ready for this jump here. So what you're going to do is run until you get to this lip here, and then jump, and you're trying to hit this lip right here. And what that does is it allows you to get a great rotation if someone's trying to hold you on the mountain. You can run up this part. You basically just hug this little corner right here. And you can just slide up the mountain. Here, you just kind of run and spam spacebar until it lets you jump. And you just jump right up. And then this part here, you just kind of walk down the side. And you'll get to a part right here where it's just like it wants to lead you down. And you just hold, like, hold the right... You know, hold your right movement, hold D, and hug the rock on the way down. Your character might wince in pain, so I would recommend just going straight down and landing like here. Because, or I guess it's right here, landing. Because if you go all the way and go over here or something, you can actually come close to blacking your legs, which is quite spooky. So a normal rotation I'm going to do if I'm trying to get to the front of the mountain is I'll then go down these rocks here. I'll try and show it without going all the way down. You basically just follow the rocks here, and there's a little tiny drop over there. And then we're going to get back onto the main part of the rock. So I can show the main way I would normally get down from behind the mountain if I'm trying to go to Sunken or to USEC from here. This entire section over here does not have mines. This entire section of land here, there's no, there shouldn't be any mines. You can walk there completely risk-free and go up the other side of the camp over there where there's a break in the rocks. Completely risk-free. I'm going to go up this side so I can get up on top of the rock. 
and show you guys how to get on top of the rock here at USEC without, you know, jumping like a weirdo. Now, there are no mines along this path here that's kind of along the rock. Basically, if you just stay on these paths, you can't step on a mine. If you run down this hill, you'll step on a mine. There's a minefield just past these rocks. This entire hillside here has mines. So just stay on the path. Do, your, do yourself a favor. Do your squad a favor. Stay on the path. And don't get yourself hunted by a woodsman that knows where you are because you stepped on a mine. Now, when you get to this part, right, you can see right here, it get, comes very close to the ground. You could just run right up on top of it. Just kind of hug this right rock right here, and it'll just let you up. And then you just kind of shimmy along, and you'll get here. Walk up on top of this rock. Usually I do this while running, because it's not the best idea to do this while walking, if you're in an actual raid. You can, technically, if you're sprinting, you can just hop up on this part here. And I'll show that in a second. But then you get up here, you can check the M4 spawn, and the attachment spawns, and the ammo spawn. So now I'll show it while running. Show how quickly you can usually just get all the way up on top of the rock. Nice and uh, nice and easy to check the M4 spawn and whatnot. Go about that quick. And then usually if I'm with my squad, I'll come down and I'll drop right on top of this box. Loot the gold spawns here. Now we get to take the journey all the way over to Rock Passage through Sunken. Now, something that's important to note. If you're on a PMC run, or a scav run, doing an actual online raid, and you're doing this at night, if you go the pathing I'm about to go, actually I guess I won't go that way. Normally the pathing I would take through here will take you through a cultist spawn, so just be careful. I'll make another video showing cultist spawns in particular, so that you know where they are, at least according to what was the norm last wipe, where they always spawned and how they behaved. And, uh, and what to do in the event that you actually do see them on woods. Because, in my opinion, right, this is, you know, me just, it's not me just trying to say that, uh, woods is, woods is the most difficult, but yet best map in the game. I find them hardest to fight on woods, because there's so many open angles you have to fight them from, and if they have multiple SVDs, or even one SVD, uh, he'll be shooting at you from very long range with an SMB, SVD, which is very hard to counter, and it doesn't give you much room for error, so. Okay, so we're coming up on Rock uh, Passage here. So the reason my squad and I call this Rock Passage is one, because there's a road that goes straight through the rocks, and two, on the very far edge of that, uh, by the shore, is a, the rock goes all the way down to the shore, and there's a break in the rock where you can keep going and not have to go into the middle of the road. Hence why we call it Rock Passage. Now, get up on top of Rock Passage. The reason you want to be up here is if you're looting stashes for a specific loot that you need to find in a stash, or if you're just stash running, or if you're just happening to pass by, there's a stash right over here. You come down from, you get this, you're like, ah, oh, yes, got my slick. Time to move on. Most people, when they get here, They'll come to this edge and be like, oh shit, those are cliffs, and they'll go all the way over to the left where I came up, and they'll come down. You can drop right here. Right here. You just hug the rock on the way down. Don't break your legs. Don't let go of S until you hear your feet hit the ground, or you will break your legs and potentially die. There's another angle over here somewhere that gives you the impression when you're up above that you can drop down safely. And the second you get down to about here... It just drops. So it gives you the false impression that you can come down this way safely without going the way I just showed. But uh, after you get to a certain point, there's nothing left for you to slide down the, on the back of, and you just drop all the way to the ground and you die. 